Kavina Karen wants to use the shoulder lane to escape traffic. I dared her. This happened just a few hours ago. I was driving a semi on a highway when the traffic suddenly became bumper to bumper on a two lane due to an accident a couple miles ahead. Everybody was creeping and I was at the right lane. Suddenly, I saw a regular vehicle, not even an emergency vehicle, on my right side, shoulder lane, passing me, there's not even an exit nearby. I was like, hell to the no, and as soon as I saw a couple vehicles behind me trying to do the same thing, I immediately blocked them by going slightly to the shoulder. So I'm occupying two lanes. I got a few honks but I couldn't care less. If I'm suffering in traffic jam, everyone should too as well. Shoulder isn't for passing. As long as I didn't see any flashing lights behind me, I'm not opening that shoulder. We're crawling anyway. After a few hundred feet ahead, I saw an idle police cruiser on the shoulder up ahead. Figured that nobody would dare using the shoulder anymore. I merged back to my lane. Turns out I was right. The shoulder became empty all of a sudden. But that's not the end. While I was chilling, still creeping, I heard a very annoying and repetitive honks on my left side. I looked and I saw this lady with huge sunglasses, ponytail, bending down on her seat, looking at me, yelling something, looking outraged. I rolled down and this is the following conversation. Karen, you know you're blocking two lanes right? Me. Confusion. Huh? Karen, I was behind you on the right lane and you wouldn't move. I honked and you didn't care. Me. That's a shoulder. You're not supposed to drive on the shoulder. Karen. That's a lane. You are allowed to drive there. While she's still yelling incoherently. We are still slowly moving. Then I remembered. There's an idle police cruiser on the shoulder that I saw a while back that we didn't pass yet. I'm sure everyone knows by now. Malicious compliance. Initiated. I reduced my speed even more so Karen is faster than me by a little bit on the left lane. Then I dare her by giving her the signal that she can pass me to use the shoulder. She aggressively took it, cut in front of me, and immediately went to the shoulder. However, what Karen didn't know was that the cruiser is already around the corner. I was driving a semi, so my field of vision is much higher and wider than everyone else. Karen was driving a sedan. Her field of vision is much lower and limited. What I didn't take account was how aggressive Karen was driving. She cut the corner so quick without looking and ended up hitting the cruiser. Sorry Oxifer. It was so abrupt that I can hear the crash pretty loudly. I can also tell that the driver in front of me was gasping in shock as well. I have never seen an officer got out of the cruiser so fast before. This dude practically jumped out of the cruiser in less than one second. Then this is what I witnessed and heard when I'm creeping slowly with the traffic. Not wanting to miss anything. I rolled down my passenger window. Officer. Get out of the vehicle. Karen. Still inside car. Full fluster mode. Officer. Get out now. Karen. Finally gets out. And literally word per word. But I wasn't at fault. You were stopping on a lane. Officer. This is a shoulder for emergency. Not for your convenience to escape traffic jam. Karen. But. Incoherent sob story as I drove away from the scene. I couldn't hear what's going on anymore. But I kept watching my front as well as the side mirror. Judging from her body movement. She was indeed panicking while pointing at my truck. Don't know why. Then. Before the scene disappeared from my mirror. The last thing I saw was the officer pulled out his handcuffs and cuffed Karen. Surprisingly. She complied without causing any more scenes. Then I continued to drive into the sunset. Edit. For those who asked for a video from Dash Cam. I honestly would have wanted to relive the moment as well. However. My company is too cheap to invest in Dash Cams they said that a tracker system is good enough. Edit 2. 
Some people did share with me that I shouldn't block the shoulder. While I did pay attention to flashing lights for emergency vehicles. Back then it didn't occur to me that some emergency could come from vehicles without flashing lights. For example, this link. Thank you for teaching me a valuable lesson and yes. I would prefer 99 Karens to pass me illegally than causing one death of an innocent. Oh. Oh hell yes. I don't even think my justice boner could get more erect. Holy FK Batman. Well played you Sly Sob. Well played. She is going to get crucified. There was a story a while back about a group of young guys working summer tree felling jobs are something. One of them is critically injured from a chainsaw. They throw him in the car and are tearing down the freeway doing 100 trying to get to an ur. A lady in a car up ahead sees them coming isnt having that and made it her business to impede those reckless young men from getting in front of her. I heard she held them up long enough that the injured young man bled out. Now I'm not sure if that's true. But you never know what kind of shit other people might be dealing with. I'd rather let 99 Karens go ahead of me than be responsible for one person's emergency being made. Worse. You made my shitty day better after reading this. Thank you, I needed the laugh. Thank you for doing the long haul for all of us. Don't know what you pull. But it makes this place run. For that, I thank you. Beautifully executed. I was having a shit day but this story turned it around, thanks. This is one of the best ones yet. Malicious comeuppance. This may be the best story I have ever read about MC. Bravo. Talk about malicious compliance. It's very unfortunate that the officer got rear-ended. But there is something so satisfying about letting someone do the thing you know is going to screw. Them then watching them deal with the consequences of their own actions. As satisfying as that is. Please don't do it HTTPS. www.reddit.com slash r slash advice animals slash comments slash 1kbhcn slash i gain strength from their tears and anger cbnhvxv question mark utm source equals share and utm medium equals ios app and utm name equals ios smf and context equals 3. Wish I was a fly in Karen's car. Would love to hear the whole buzz. Face with hand over mouth. In Massachusetts. It's called the breakdown lane. Not the shoulder. And they use them as extra lanes during rush hour. HTTPS. www.salamnews.com slash news slash state news slash more dash time dash urge dash for dash i dash 93 dash breakdown dash lane dash travel slash article 85 a 1294 f dash ec 41 to 5 b 82 to 87 c 0 to 3 a f 5 7 6 2 f 2 eb 6 html my best friend's stepdad is a doctor. And occasionally had to use the shoulder for emergency surgery situations. So keep in mind that you really have no idea what the situation is when someone is trying to use. The shoulder. Doing God's work, thank you. Would have loved to see a video of how it all went down but this is gold. I had something similar happen before. A car with was trying to shove in front of us. They were in a lane that would force them to go straight. Us in the turning lane. Normally letting one car in wouldn't be a big deal. But we had already been trying to go the distance of only two blocks for about 15 minutes. They can wait just like the rest of us. They instead tried to hit our car. When we didn't just let them in after that. They managed to get in behind us. Yelled shit at us till we all finally were able to turn. Once we got to the next street. 
They entered a lane two over from us so they could pull up beside us and continue to yell. The driver was too busy looking at us. Hit a car. Then they proceeded to tell us it was our fault they hit the car. All we could do was laugh and laugh. Instant karma. It's a real big angry bitch sometimes. Had sort of a similar situation. Not quite bumper to bumper but in steady traffic on a two-lane road and this jack wagon was driving. Erratically and cutting people off left and right. He nearly ran me right off the road trying to merge right into my spot. This lunatic was justifying four inches between cars is big enough for him to merge into without. Warning. Everyone was terrified and just let him wiggle his way through us. A few of us honked with joy when we saw his ass several miles ladder handcuffed on the ground BC. Two cops. The dude definitely looked methed out. Instant karma. Good that's good. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.